The invitation came and I grabbed at the opportunity to go to Africa. I am to visit Ghana and guided by the famous traditional Ghanaian highlight musician, Ko Nemo, he and I will explore the links my music, the Kaiso or Calypso, has with high life. <laughs> It is a four-hour drive to Kumasi, where Konimo lives. It is good to get out of the city at last and go into the country. Arriving in Africa was a profound experience for me. Now spending a night and a day on African soil. Accra was interesting because I was able to visit a library dedicated to the Trinidadian political activist George Padmo. Also, I was able to visit the tomb of the Pan-Africanists from the USA, W.E.B. Dubois. The house where he lived in Accra has been dedicated to honoring people throughout the world who have worked for an independent and united Africa, including people such as Marcus Garvey of Jamaica and C.L.R. James of Trinidad. But now, I am glad to be on my way to meet Konimo at last. Things began smoothly in Kumasi. Konimo welcomed me and took me to a traditional priest. Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going
There was a series of elaborate rites with libation and speeches of welcome spoken not directly to the priest but through his linguist. We each explained our mission and received his blessing. In brief, Lance just told them that I'm welcome to here, but I'm interested in knowing what happened to our ancestors, our brothers and sisters when they took them over to the Caribbean, and to know about the similarities and similarities in culture. A special reference to high life in Calypso. Now it's your turn to tell them your mission. You have to address them. Nananum. Nananum. Yes. Uh, my mission here is to make the link between my homeland, yes. Trinidad and Tobago, yes. and the land of my ancestors, yes. Africa, yes. Uh, using yes. the Kaiso yes. and the high life. Yes to bring yeah. about this understanding. Yeah. I felt that at last I had started seeing the essence of traditional Africa. Take a look at this. They are pounding fufu. There's a mortar and then the person. You can see the rhythm. One, two, one, two, one. See the rhythm. Uh, everything in our life is rhythm. Rhythm controls our life. Her hands go below. Yes. If she should miss the rhythm, the pestle will knock her finger. This is the thing. Now they are together. Unison. She dips in the water too. Yes. Unison. Yeah. This is where I buy my bell. And I spend all day trying all these bells uh, just to select a few for my orchestra. Now this is spiritual. Now try. Good, good. Thank you. 
Namirebe kura minem jumasi nambe ba minem jumasi Jume yipe na pomi amasa si ajemi tata Eni nchini mabri kwa koti sahi niye bodomi uyo Jami nebu Uwe ya yembi ne jami nebu Se wabere hini wukwa na kura sa obape Damina buwe, ae bobuwe, damina buwe, ae ae biwe anakura so. Nana jeyo diya gurumu. You know, Konimo, everywhere I go, I see faces like back home. Yeah. And it's really fascinating. But this is Africa, and that is what Africa that is Africa coming to the Caribbean. Yes. That is what I, I, I really want. Hey, Proverbs are very, very important in our life. I use them a lot in my song. And you can see on vehicles that plow the roads, they have inscriptions like this. For example, All that humanity is interested in is to destroy one's name. The any penny, any didn't say. So you see the use of proverbs, and in this case, since these vehicles vehicles travel, they are exposed to a wider community. Now, Lance, this is another one. This time in English, suffer to gain. Ko explained that high life had grown out of an urban setting but was based on a number of traditional rhythms. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask the group to demonstrate one rhythm called Techiman. Percussion. places to play yet another rhythm. Come with me. I see you wearing your traditional cloth here. Well, this is Kinti, the pinnacle of art. <laughs> but the pattern here is called Edin Karahini. The name of the king of German, now Avri Kust, the king whom the Ashantis defeated and brought all the artifacts of culture from his courtyard to Ashanti. Edinkra. Meaning, yede bre bre bekum edinkra. Gradually, with patience, we will overcome edinkra. And in fact, they overcame edinkra. Ah. Now, the rhythm they are going to play is apente, hala flavor. Dauru. As we talked, I was reminded that almost every aspect of African life, like the cloth co wears, has its own symbolic significance, its own history, its own proverbs, and rhythms associated with it. Here, we are encouraging the youth never to despise their past. And this we are doing by helping them to learn to play their own instruments and to respect their traditions. Very soon, I'll be taking you to a village nearby to witness the funeral of a traditional priest who has just passed away. And there, 
the opportunity to listen to yet one rhythm. Now I'm going to do a song. I know most of my songs are based on Proverbs. Because I told you earlier on that Proverbs are very important. Now I'm going to do one. The title is Owo to be Meaning in English, Buy When Death Sells. Now, Lance, if you should come across death selling his wares by the roadside, you will have to stand, bargain, and buy something from him. Because one day you will fall a victim to it. Owo to Adiatu, buy when death sells. What do you think about this rhythm? Let me have those. See, in the Kaiso too, we use a lot of cross rhythms. Mm. Yeah. Will you join us, please, and do a tune? Well, there's a song that was very popular in my country a few months ago. It's a song that I wrote to a champion uh, boxer. Uh, it's called Tiger. Yeah. What we are going to do here is use the call and response pattern, but we would substitute tiger with konimo. Now, I would give you an idea of how this could be done. Konimo. You see? Konimo. All right? So we have it now. There is a man with two hands beat people like a fan. He hailing from up the hill. Cody, he does dance, he does fancy, he does knock off your fancy. The tiger from Lavante. And ready sing to the beat and he swing on the beat to his country song. Cody you could fight, you could vote, you could kick up your two foot, but your bunk of all down. When the nine down down they do go, bam bam bad in. Cody mo, Cody mo, dum dum ding. A bass, a bass, a bass. Kung ko ting, kung kung ko ting, kung kung ko ting, kung kung ko ting, kung kung ko ting. Dang de ding, da dance. Di di di, bing dang de ding, di ding ko ni mo. Bing dang de ding, di ding ko ni mo. Bing dang de ding, di ding ko ni mo. Bing dang de ding. Well, and around the 1920s, high life had become established. Now, brass bands, which were being used by the military, sort of drifted into this local idiom. And you had the musicians 
using the brass instruments, taking local melodies and harmonizing, as you hear. This is used in actually backing masqueraders. And as you see, spontaneously they are all reacting. Yeah, this reminds me so much about Trinidad Carnival. You know? Aha, the movement and everything. Sure. Yeah. Life rhythms combined with the use of brass instruments reminded me so much of brass bands in the Trinidad Carnival of the 50s. The masqueraders were also so reminiscent of some traditional masqueraders in our carnival, like the man on stilts known in Trinidad as Amuko Jambi. I couldn't have left Ghana without visiting one of the places where our forefathers became separated as a people. Cape Coast Castle was the seat of government in those days and main center of the slave trade in Ghana. And some of the slaves were from neighboring African countries like serving Nigeria, Republic of Benin, and brought in here. The slaves were needed to be taken to America and the Caribbean to work. And this was the gateway to America and the Caribbean during those days. Slaves would be taken by boats from the shore here to join British ship at some distance. From there up to Americas and the Caribbean. So some of the blacks from America and the Caribbean have their ancestry from here. Oh, this is the female dungeon. And we have a set of about 300 women occupying here when they left. That time, or during those days, no electricity. This were their only source of light and ventilation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You come in now. I don't know how 1,500 people could breathe in here. This so oppressive atmosphere. I I can't deal with the, the, the smell of this is the smell of death in here. Of murder, you know. Feel like you feel like you're surrounded by by that kind of thing. Incredible. Incredible. Moments when human hearts stop beating, this is one. Asami is a Mandamurubo, Asami is a Mokobotio, Asami is a Mandamurubo, Asami is a Mandamurubo, Asami is a Mandamurubo, Asami is a Mokobotio. Nami Bakra, my name Bay, Nami Baba, my name Bay, Sasabon, Samoa, from Bay Area. I am a slave from a land so far. I was caught and brought here from Africa. I'm a slave from a land so far. I was caught and brought here from Africa. Well, it was licks like fire from the white slave master every day uh, down on my knees. Weeks and weeks we crossed the seas to reach the West Indies. And they make me work, and I work so hard each day. I toil and I toil and I toil and I toil so hard. No pain, I'm dying. 